Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you all how to install SQL Server. Let's install SQL Server on a Windows machine. First of all, go to a browser and search for free edition of SQL Server. Okay, so click on the first link. It will open SQL Server website. Here I am going to install SQL Server on premise. Okay, there are two free editions provided by Microsoft SQL Server. The first one is developer edition, and the next one is express edition. I am going to develop projects on my laptop so I am choosing developer edition click on download now click on download and it will begin downloading now the file is downloaded double click on the exe file to install it I am going to choose the basic installation, accept the terms and conditions and click next. Now the software is being downloaded and after downloading it will be installed. I am going to pause the video. Now the SQL Server developer edition is installed. The next step is we have to install SSMS that is SQL Server Management Studio to connect to SQL Server. So now let's click on install SSMS. It will take us to a browser. It will open a page. Using this link we can download SSMS. So I am going to click on it, it started downloading. Let's pause the video for a second and we will come back with the download. The setup file is downloaded. Let's click on it and install SSMS. Now let's click on install to begin installing. Installation has been started. It's going to take some time. Looks like we have got an error. Let's see what is it. So it is asking me to reboot the laptop. So now I am going to restart the laptop and we will come back again. I have restarted my laptop. Now let's try to install SSMS. Click on the install button to start installing SSMS. Now it's going to take some time. Let me pause the video and come back again. Now as you can see SSMS is installed. Let's try to launch SSMS and connect to our SQL Server.
here I have to specify some connection properties let's leave authentication as it is window, windows authentication and I am not changing any other settings keep them as default and try to connect now we have got an error let's see what the error is connection was successfully established with the server but an error occurred during the login process so it is something to do with the login now I am going to make the encryption as optional so let's choose optional and click on trust server certificate now let's try to connect click on connect ok we were successfully able to connect to SQL server that's all in today's video keep watching my channel if you like the video please like this video and subscribe to my channel Thank you.